morning, my lovely Aries, and welcome to your monthly reading. Even true that this is a reading for September, you can see this whenever it comes to you. I just want to make sure that I had the microphone on. I have perfect. First of all, before we start out anything, the first thing that I feel is that someone might try to control you this month. And I saw a blue orb going from the top and down. Yeah, it kind of followed the tripod. So I feel with that, that it's a sign that someone follows your every step in a way. It might be someone that you can feel is trying to control you or someone who's sneaking in from behind. Obviously, you can also be the one who is trying to control someone in a way. But I feel it's more the other way around. And before I dig more into it, obviously, you can have Aries wherever in your chart. You can be dealing with an Aries. You can be a counterpart. That's not what I want to say. Okay. You, you can be a cross watcher. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Flip the robes. You can be male. You can be female. The thing is, you do need to set boundaries. And I will say that it's not always obvious who's trying to control us. It's not always the one who is evil who's trying to control us. Actually, it's the opposite sometimes. And this energy just keeps popping up for you. That you try to step into your Aries energy and someone tries to lock you in a way or control that Aries energy of yours. So it could be someone who's jealous. There's something about control. Feeling like you're losing control. Someone feels like they're losing control when it comes to you. Maybe because you made a decision. I heard someone say maybe you changed your mind. Hmm. Controlling out of love, that could also be something. Someone loves you so much that they don't want you good they don't want you to get hurt, but they, they get it out in a in the wrong way. Either way, there's a lot of energies when it comes to that. It could come down to so many things, as I said. It could also be someone who sees what you're doing, that you want to succeed, and comes with some kind of like, oh you could do it this way, or maybe you should do it that way. And that is also a, some kind of control. So it can come across as a demand, even though that the person might want to help you. It's just not the way that they get it across. So just set boundaries and don't get too caught up in it. Just move on. Because with this Aries energy, you are moving on. You are moving forward. I heard someone say, control the rebellion energy, which makes sense with what we just said. With that, with the vision that I tapped into, again, and I don't know why I say again, because maybe it came up in another reading, or maybe we had it in the, in, um, yeah, in the last month's reading for you, or it's from a daily, but I feel that it has come up a lot. This like being in space. And I saw you wearing this muggy, I will say it was like um, clay, kind of the, the clay red not a bright red not the aries red but it was a little bit more clay um, like you were floating in space and you had this dress on and if someone is a male watching this can be a representation of your female your feminine energy because we have masculine and feminine energy in us and to be honest doesn't have to be a dress because there was a lot of fabric around you so it doesn't have to be a dress but that's what I saw could also be someone's soulmate just to point that one out but I saw a lot of lights a lot of flickers a lot of sparkles around you you had this hmm, well like the the rainbow reflection light around you but it kept changing and you look very happy, so you were totally free. And the vibrations came out of your mouth. And I feel it has something to do with speaking and something to do with the words. And while you were out there, you heard someone say, be strong. You are stronger than you think. And your strength is going to show all the results. And I feel, to come down to the voice, I feel there's something about this voice of yours. That you have power and strength with your voice. Maybe you want to use your voice more, heal people, guide people, singing, speaking, public speaking. I feel that the color purple will have a significant meaning. 
And I feel that it will show itself to you when it comes to you taking action on something. And I don't think you have to search for it because I think it's going to be very obvious when it comes. And speaking about um, the purple, to come back to the fabric that you had around you, the dress was a little bit more mucky, or it wasn't red, it was, yeah, it was a brown clay kind of color. The more that you were free and used your voice, the deeper and brighter the red became. I heard that you're making huge steps the next month ahead for yourself and for your career, and you're choosing you. I also had this energy of you realizing that you're not alone in space, in that vision. So like you're going to realize it when you realize that you are independent or when you're alone. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. But okay, let's just start from the beginning. Let's take the first card for you. Clear cards. Get crystal clear. Hmm, get crystal clear. Interesting that I chose to actually put the, the clear quartz in your, um, or on that deck. <laughs> I am just going to put all the cards down and then we're going to speak about it and use normal tarot. Blessings. Look at those flowers. I don't know what they're called. But they do seem a little purple, just a tiny bit. Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. Okay, let me just see. You guys should could see it. This and that is true. Hmm. I feel like you're going on a an adventure. Might not be now. I feel it's a physical adventure. And at this moment, you are making everything more clear. You're making space, clearing out the mind. It's very important with this autumn season that we are jumping into. Because with you emptying out what's not good anymore, the clearer thoughts can come true. So if you have felt confused or lost in a situation, allow this new view to come in. For some reason I have this energy of feeling like, yeah, like a little drained or a little confused about something. Like almost someone is saying, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why I feel this way. Like there is a battle going on and I feel it's a mental battle, which makes sense with the it crystal clear makes sense with the vision too and the blue light was uh, back it actually turned almost into purple which <laughs> actually was the sign that we spoke about so maybe some of you guys are already ready okay let's see if we can get more information or maybe there's someone who's unsure about how to get closer to you could be the energy of someone else because I also paid attention to the Knight of Wands. Could it be someone who's been a player in the past? For some of you guys, maybe. Someone is very confused. Again, it could be you. Let's see what else we can get about this confusing energy. Oh, the justice reversed. So third party situation, maybe even unfairness. Mm, okay. It's interesting. Definitely interesting. If this comes true. There is, first of all, a strong energy of a Capricorn or a Libra. I was about to say Aries, so maybe for someone there is an Aries. So I wonder if some of you have had someone wrong you in the past. It doesn't have to be a third party situation. The other thing that I feel here is that you have moved on from this situation. You have let go of some something. If it's judgment, if it's something that hurt you in the past, 
for others of you, it's a decision that was very hard for you, but you actually chose to make a decision for you to move forward. So you might actually have let go of a person. It could also be the logic mind, this mind chatter, the lies from the ego that you finally have dusted off and went on your own way. Especially with the Tree of Cups, there is celebration. And I strongly feel that it's in the here and now. If you don't feel it at the moment, it is coming in fast. Get crystal here. If there's something that's not okay, someone who has wronged you, it's time. But I feel in one way or another, there was something that was unfair. I do also see the King of Wands, so for some of, of you, or for others of you, it might have been a Cancer or someone with Leo in the chart. It is interesting that we have this energy here, so I can't ignore it. But if you're not interested in love, it can simply be that you didn't make a decision about something. And now you're making a decision to not put a limit on yourself, to be true to yourself, to go out there, to have fun, to celebrate. Yeah, but I do want to have more uh, information, especially about the King of Swords reversed. The High Priestess, very interesting. So could it simply be that you blocked your intuition? I heard someone say you made a decision. You made a decision. Maybe some of you dealt with someone with, well, gambling problems, drug problems, whatever. Someone who had problems. Someone who couldn't control their emotions. I feel that you're being more desired than what you actually think. Yeah. There might be someone who comes back from the past. <laughs> it kind of feels that way. Not gonna lie. But I actually think that you choose you. Because there was too much confusion with the other energy. It's way too loud. There was too, way too much drama. Because I keep feeling this dragging energy here. If some of you have been dealing with a lack of getting a routine up, it could be that for some of you. It doesn't have to be a person. Lack of structure, lack of routine. Keep your mind on the spiritual level. That is the message. When we try to control our mind, too much it takes over. And we had this controlling energy in the beginning. No matter what this is for you, if it's a person or if it's simply you and your mind taking over, taking control, you are releasing it. That is what is happening right now. Okay, I actually had to take a break. I had to go outside and just <laughs> oh, clear the mind. Well, it makes sense. It's also funny because I'm Libra, but I have my Aries North node, so I feel this with the mind clutter. But it's very heavy for someone watching this mind clutter. Oh, it's because of a person, obviously. It could be. So I'm going to burn some mugwort. But I had a moment outside where I actually asked them. I don't know why. I asked permission to actually dig into the vision again we had earlier. For some strange reason. It's so silly because why should I ask for permission? I could just tap into it. And staring at the High Priestess and thinking about, hmm, that makes sense, thinking about the vision with the voice and the blue for the um, throat chakra. So you guys might not feel like you can speak your truth, <clears throat> express your truth. Very interesting. There's something here to making decisions because someone needs to make a decision here. <sighs> Let's all take a moment to breathe through. So is there something else that I need to see in that vision? My stomach make a, made a voice. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? How strange is that? Hmm. Is there something about food? Protective eating. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? Or overdoing something could be something with alcohol searching for danger in the midst of trying to search for the right thing with the blessings there is a lot of blessings coming into your life after you have you know gotten all this clear yeah release the ego because I do think that the ego 
is the one keeping you away from a Judaism the science if it's not a person which could be for some of you but the major thing that I feel especially with how I felt is mental clutter and the spirit guides are trying to I yeah I heard that again be open with your voice you are very protected in this time from your spirit guide from the universe maybe even from someone who passed over you are never alone I heard to so have faith on this path someone really wants you to <clears throat> know that you are safe yeah maybe it's time to release something <laughs> I said that while the tree of Swords and the Ten of Cups reverse popped up. And don't panic just because just because they are reversed. Because with this combination, I feel that you have healed something from your childhood. Something that had has kept you stuck from feeling, from making decisions. Yeah. Last one. Yeah, you are making a decision. You're yeah, moving forward. For someone out there, there might have been a divorce. You might be in the middle of a divorce. There might have been heartbreak. But you are seeking more. You're seeking harmony. You're connecting with something deeper. Because there has been unhappiness here. Or there is unhappiness. Lack of security, stability, separation conflicts maybe you are sick and tired of someone who is playing mind games someone who is just going out partying instead of yeah giving you the security and the safety I, I actually feel sad about that so that might be the case for someone if it is I do see that you are making a choice to actually move forward without that person I heard someone say if this person is not showing signs now that person will not show signs in the next weeks or in a month or in a year. It will continuously be the same. So you made the right choice to give up on this person. That felt like someone else saying that. Yeah. And as I said, if you are not dealing with a person, you have healed something from your childhood. Something that made you feel unsafe not stable maybe you have been the one always saying that you didn't want to have marriage or you didn't want to get married or have a relationship because everyone is just the same and it might be because of something that happened in the past but you're making a decision now to move on looking into the future because the blessings are coming so you have healed some un unjustment in um yeah what do you call that adjustment justice is the legal card so there might have been something with going to to um yeah what you call that well i heard jail law but it's not the word that i'm looking for and i can't find it so i think you guys know what i mean there's a lot of self-knowledge and understanding you like you understand yourself like now you understand a lot of things in a new way let's see what else we can get with that there's a lot of blessings coming your way Oh my god, hmm, <laughs> Aquarius the star, and look how she's looking up. Also very interesting that we have two very strong feminine energies here. There's a lot of healing going on, there's a lot of truth, because blue, a lot of beautiful truth. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate who is coming into your life. It could be someone who has Aquarius in that chart. You can be the Aquarius, um, having Aquarius somewhere in your chart, but there is a lot of healing and I feel that you are finally making a decision, first of all, to, to feel, second of all, to walk in the direction of what you truly want. You have created something from within. And I will say that your spirit guides are very, very proud of you for that because it has been, I mean, with the energy that I feel in the beginning, that has been so hard to come out of the mind space of creating something or believing in something. And I don't know why I get emotional with that. 
Well, maybe because I resonate too with this. No one has control over you anymore. You're free to go out there. Because I feel that there can be this duality, which makes sense with Aries energy. And with the dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Focus on the positive. Your spirit guides want you to focus on the positive. Because obviously with light, there's always darkness. We can't exist without darkness, without ups and downs. They actually makes us stronger. Which, if you remember, was one of the first messages that you got. You have been doing a lot of affirmations, a lot of speaking out when it comes to your dreams and desires, I heard. And they are finally coming true. But you're stuck in mind space now and then. And it, it's, I don't think it's something you do on purpose. But now and then you find yourself stuck in mind space. Or stuck thinking about an ex. Or stuck, think, stuck thinking about not making a decision. Getting out of your comfort zone. Thinking about what happened to you when you were a child. Or young. Or back then. Instead of moving forward. Yeah. Let's see what we can get with the last cards. Six of Pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. You know what's interesting is that this energy of betrayal keeps popping up. And I'm laying down the last card before I dig into that. But Seven of Swords rose the lovers and I heard thief. Thief. But someone was like thief. So I wonder if someone did hurt you in the past. And you are healing that now because it's something that kept you stuck. And it can be a tiny thing. Because our mind is so it's very, very yeah, it's very tricky like that because one little thing that happened in the past that might not be something you think about can actually be the thing that actually stops you still. I actually think that you are manifesting a soulmate here. You are ready to do that because when it comes to your dreams and desires, you, you have already manifested it. It's actually already coming in and you I feel that you are already seeing signs of that when it comes to love and trust. Ah. I feel that it might be that. Then you are a little... Mm. You're kick-starting the wheel. And you're going on a new journey. Yellow. I just paid attention to that. This new journey that you're going on... We also have Gemini here now, by the way. Reveals, I think, a person. Yeah, because I actually have this, this feeling of... When it comes... <laughs> And look at that. The King of Wands is back. Someone with Cancer or, Ari or Leo or someone who has this warm energy over them. Could also be an Aries. Could also be a um, Sagittarius, obviously. No, I totally forgot what else I was about to say. Anyway, okay. Let's see what else we can Whoa, okay. Four of Wands, wow. Let's see what the, the other card was. Yeah, Eight of Swords, you are releasing yourself from whatever keeps you stuffed. And like I said, especially with this imagery, it can come down to the way you see yourself. Insecurities, that can be the thing that's stopping you. You are releasing the past and the ego. And I feel that it's moving mountains for you. And I feel that is the message. I really hope that it resonated for you. You have a lot of things to look forward to the next month ahead. Everything is, is just flowing. The only thing that's standing in the way now and then is the mind. But let me know if it resonated. And if you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!